Meet you what? So let's just get going on the spot. Just get warmed up. Swing in the arms, lift the legs. We'll do a brief warm up as usual. We stretch and then we we'll work. As always, swinging them out. So make sure if you're on the Facebook group, when this one finishes, log out and back into the next one. If you're on our YouTube channel, just find them on the menu. They're all titled and dated. So you're gonna like it. Jump with jacks. To the front. I'm punching out. Side to side. <laughs> shoulders and back right foot forward kick that out punch it on the right jump forward and punch <coughs> change kick it on the left Punch it on the left. Bring the heels up. Up as high as you can behind you. Swing the arms. Bring the elbows up and up. That's it. And punch, double punch out. Hey, yummy. Okay, just go through the heartbeat up a little bit. Left leg up front, sit back on the right, knee back. Stretch it down. Ease into it. Remember, if you're on a YouTube or a Facebook group, sign in, let us know you're here. Give us a thumbs up. <coughs> Keep an eye on your progress. Bend it up, change legs. Sit down into it, that's it. Keep the front foot facing forward. Sit back on the back leg. And focus on getting that knee all the way back in front. Push it back gently if you have to. Bring the chin down towards your knee. Not off to the side, but dead straight down the middle. <clears throat> Bring it up. Both feet forward. Let's go down the center. Again, push the knees back. Big slow breaths. Try and push that a little bit further. Let your weight roll forward into your toes. Push the chest down. So you're struggling with this, push it. You can't come down very far, put your hands behind your legs and pull your chest towards your body. Even lock your hands behind and pull in, okay? Just to get that stretch up the top half of the legs. Bring it up, then step the legs out nice and wide. Hands on the floor. And remember if you have a line, heels, knees, and hips, groin, all in the same line, you don't want your body should be too far forward and you don't want to be starting to go back and fall back nice and straight on that line. Stretch it out. Push 
push it out a little farther if we can. Lock them knees back, toes facing forward, that's it. Bring it in halfway. Let's go down that left side. Lock the knee back again. Don't bend your knees, straight legs on both of them. <clears throat> Opposite side. Come back to center. Just lay down on the floor. Right leg out. Grab your left knee and ankle and pull that knee right up. Tight into your body towards your shoulder. Let the head back. Now hold on to your ankle, pull your ankle up towards you as you push your knee away from you as if you're twisting and pull back. Big stretch down the outside. Change legs, knee and ankle, pull straight up into your chest. Push the knee away, pull the heel up, and cross your body. So you're stretching out the outside of your hip, backside. And up we go. Let's loosen out the hips. And back the other way. Grab the left. And change the right. Pull that heel up, push your knee down at the same time. And stretch down the front of the leg. Get your balance, <laughs> knee included, and bring it down. Okay, ready, feet together. We loosen the legs out, hands by the side. Go down from a stance, height, ice, gear it up. Remember, leg comes up and around to the outside. Heat, knee, sand, she, go. Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, back to the inside, each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, straight up, each. Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Shu, Thumbs up, to the outside. Each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, back to the inside, each, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sish, Ash, Q, Ju, straight up, each, Ni, Sun, sheep, go, rook, sish, 
Aș Chi Și Okay, so today's class we're going to move on a little bit from what we've been doing in our earlier sessions this week and that we're talking about defense. We've talked about defense in moving and sweeping our leg on the move. We've talked about defense and jumping to the line and blocking out of the way. Moving back using our leg to defend. So today we're going to talk about double hand movements. Defending high, block, high grabs, low grabs and grabs from behind. Then we go a little bit of defending from the ground, a tiny bit, in the time we have. So, we're well used to our inward blocks and our upper blocks and downward blocks and outward blocks and when we do our windmills, our chop blocks, okay? And we're gonna be using our chop blocks or our windmills in a different way today. We're gonna be blocking with our hand in the chop position, thumb in, fingers in, fingers slightly bent and held really stiff on both hands okay and when we block we're gonna block with this part down from your little finger on the outside okay so our first one is we've got somebody coming towards us and they're trying to grab us either around the shoulders or trying to grab us in a choke and what we want to do is get back out of the way and we want to block so our two hands are going to be our two arms coming towards us we're going to step back and block like so. Now, there's no need to come all the way out wide because their arms aren't going to be out, out that wide. They're going to be coming in towards you. So when you step back, you should be just level your shoulders or ears, okay? And when we step back, as always, we try to get back to that diagonal stance, which gives us that solid base for blocking, okay? And as if you're snapping open a pair of curtains, now, if you want to practice with someone, get them to come towards you, and when you block them, if that hand is coming in, you're trying to snap them on the wrist on both hands. So I'm going to do five on one side and five on the other side. So we're going to step back like so and block. Ready? And we go. Each. Good. Same foot steps back. Knee. Good. Sun. And back. She. Once more, go, switch your feet, we're going to step back on the other side now, should be handy enough because the hands stay the same, each, good, knee, sun, good, she, and go, easy, very easy, that's the high block, now you might get somebody coming at you running to grab you around the waist, so we gotta do the same, a low block. This one's slightly different. In the first one, our hands came from here and twisted out. This time, we bring the camera down slightly. The hands are coming towards my waist, so I'm gonna step my hands in and I'm gonna push them out. If you're ever swimming and we do the breaststroke, this motion here, so it's exactly the same, our hands go down and we push out. So, twist, twist. Let's try that a few times without stepping back okay so hands just from here twist and again just level with your hips so each knee sun she go easy now with someone coming at you for a low attack they're probably coming to run at you so we got to step back a bit further so when we step back on this we got to step really far back as we break. So the last time we had this little step here, now we're coming, you can see both legs move. This goes back and then this slides. So we're getting out of the way of our charge because they're coming low, our next move is to come through, pop with the knee. Catch them right in the groin or the head, depending on how low they are. So as we step back, we break out. Ready? I'm gonna do a reaction game on this in a few minutes. So, Move number two, we step back. Is your hands pushed down towards the floor and out, so like so. Each, that's it. Knee, good. Sun, she, go. Very good. Let's try stepping back on the other foot. The hands stay the same, so we're just changing the feet. Ready? Each, knee, sun, 
Sheet. Go. Very good. That's our high and our low. Now, let's move on to one coming from behind. We're going to pretend it's just someone coming with one hand to grab it on your shoulder for today. When we turn, obviously if someone's behind me, I want to look around and see them. Our feet are very important. I'm going to turn this way. If I turn real quickly, you can see, oh, I could fall. If they grab me and pull me back, over I go. So the movement of our feet is very important. So if we want to turn, if I'm going to turn this way, then this leg has got to come across and turn. Look at my stance. So someone comes up to grab me from behind, spin. So that's the first move we're going to try. We're going to try it slowly. I'm going to this way away from the camera so you can work with me. And then we do both sides and then we come back to the face of the camera. Okay? So our feet are side by side. Let's do it slowly. Foot comes around and twist. Look at the way your feet land. You're almost in a horse stance. There's a nice wide horse stance. So just grab from behind, around and twist. So, ready? Draw a circle with your leg and turn. Now don't turn, turn too far around, but you're gonna be dead flat or turn the other way. We don't want our feet in a straight line. We want them diagonal. So let's try it. Ready? Guard is up. Each. Good. Doing them slow for the moment. Knee. Sup. Good. She. Go. Okay, now let's go the opposite way. So this leg is going to swing around. The hands stay the same for the moment. Ready? Each. Knee. Sun. Very good. She. Go. Now if you want, you can get someone to put their hand on your shoulder. Or come, just come up behind you and turn. Because what we want to add into that is help to block them away. Let's try that facing the camera first. So I'm straight on, this leg's gonna spin around, and I'm gonna face it that way. You can see my feet from the other side. Ready? Get it up. Each. Good. Knee. Sun. Very good. She. And one last time. Go. Good. Let's go on the opposite side. Get it up. Each. And back. Knee. Back in. Sun. Good. She. Very good. And go. Easy. Okay. Now, obviously, we're not going to turn around in case we get hit without protecting our head. So we always work with an outward block. So as I turn like so, this hand comes up as I swing, outward block. Because if there's a hand on my shoulder, okay, let's turn the camera here for a moment. Obviously the punch bike hasn't got hands. But if I'm here and I turn, you can see, outward block. If there was an arm across my shoulder, I'm knocking it away as a spin. There's your block, then you can follow up with a punch. So we protect ourselves as we turn. So let's get the hands and feet working together. So as we turn, this leg spins around as we said, the arm on the same side, block, get it up. Now you can block a punch if you wish. Let's try it slowly. So it spins the same hand, punch. Let's try five on one side, five the other side. Each, other hand is guarded, ready to punch, good. 
time it is is sometimes you get a little bit confused between hands and feet so I'm going to do a little bit extra on this than the force two. Force two are handy enough. So from here if this leg is moving this hand is blocking. Spin, block. Ready? Each. Back in. Knee. And back. Sun. Back in. She. Come back, go, opposite side, each, back in, knee, back in, good, side, good, she, and one last time, go, and back, easy, so let's play a little reaction game based on those. I'll do the first two rounds with you, then I'm going to leave you on your own, as I call it out, because I want you to start thinking rather than copying me. When you see something on the screen very often, you just copy what's going on. And that's fine for the first few. We get used to it, but then I want you thinking on your own. So, we're going to be on our toes. Okay, small diagonal stance. If I say high, we got to drop back, high block. If I say low, low block. If I say behind, Spin a block. We think we can get that. Let's give it a try. Now, I'll do high, low, behind three times. Then I'm going to go at random. Okay? Then we we'll swap on the opposite side and you're going to try it high, low, behind, then at random. Then I'm going to step off doing them and you're going to try. The third time around, me telling you how you love random or switch your stance and see can we get them right. Okay, on the toes, back and forth, ready, high, high. back in, low, back in, behind, high. and back, more two, high. high, back in, low, back in, behind, high. make sure you spin that leg around. Last one of this, high. Back in, low, back in, behind. Okay, now we go around them. Behind, high, low, low, low. Behind, behind, high, high, behind, low, high, low, behind. Hey, everyone okay? Easy? Or are we get mixed up? <laughs> Drop a comment if you made mistakes, it's fine. It's all about learning. So let's switch our stance. Now, your high and low should be easy on this because we're still only moving backwards, our hands don't change. But remember, on the behind, we got a swing and the opposite hand blocks. Ready? Here we go, on the toes, high, good, low, behind, and again, high, low, behind, once more, high, low, behind, and we go around them, high, 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 Behind, behind, low, low, behind, high, behind, low, high, yummy. We okay with them? 
Now, this is where I stop, and I'm just going to call them out. So you guys, <laughs> excuse me, got to try them yourself. You're not watching me on the screen this time. You got to work them for yourself. I see some comments there. <laughs> okay, ready? Now, whatever way you are, if I shout twist, change stance, just switch. Especially if you're turning behind, it can mean this leg or this leg in hand. Ready? On the toes, get it up, pick a side, and here we go. Hi! Hi! Behind! Behind! Low! Hi! Low! Hi! Low! Low! Behind! Behind! Switch your stance! High, behind, low, behind, switch your stance, behind, switch your stance, behind, switch your stance, high, low, high, switch stance, behind, low, high, switch stance, Behind, switch stance, low, yummy, well done. Anyone get mixed up on that? Okay, your high and low should be okay, won't you move it back? But what happens is when you get tired, sometimes you block too wide. Remember, this time, width of the shoulders, width of the hips. And making sure the hands block out or pushing out. Okay, very good. Okay, let's move on slightly from there. Defending from the ground. Now we've done break files in a previous class and we'll come back to them another day. But we're going to work slightly from the ground in using a kick to defend ourselves. And we got a little rocking motion side to side to practice here. So as we know, we, we want to try and avoid being on the floor or getting knocked down as much as we can. Whether that's in a competition, because if we do, the person can come in to score. Or... If something happens in the big bad world outside and we get knocked on the ground, it's very dangerous because somebody could be coming in to attack you, kick you, jump on you, sit on you, it could be three or four people, it could be glass on the ground, etc. 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 So we try and avoid being on the ground. However, sometimes you can't you can help it. So let's imagine just from a competition situation. We're sparring in a competition, we get swept and we end up, boom, we hit the ground. Okay? We want to, as we said, not land up on our back. This person's coming into score, we want to get onto our hip and our elbow. Hip and elbow on the same side and crunch up. And from there, we can fire a knee, tucks in, and fires out the blade kick. Then we come closer to the camera on that. As we come in, knee and elbow, blade kick, blade kick, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna sit, we're gonna rock back, onto our elbow, kick. Sit up, rock back, up to our elbow, kick. And we're gonna do that five times, okay? Ready? So, sitting up, and one, rock back, up to elbow and hip, knee in, kick. Sit up, two, rock back, elbow and hip, knee in, kick. Three, sit up, rock back, elbow and hip, kick. Up, four. Rock back, out your side, elbow and hip. And one more. Rock back, up we come, elbow and hip. Boom. Okay. Try not to flick around, how's there, but push. That push up, push the blade. You're not coming around. Now, if you can't, that's fair enough. Because that will protect you now. The blade shot coming up into their stomach. If it's in a competition situation, they won't get the score in and the judge will let you back up and you don't lose points. Let's try the opposite side, okay? Now remember, when you come back, elbow on the floor and hip. Elbow and hip, tuck in, blade kick, pushing away from you. Ready? Let's go. One, rock it back, elbow and hip, blade kick. Up, two. Down, up, 
elbow. Oh, sorry, you can't get eight. Three, down, open the elbow and hip. Four, and up, down, and tight, kick. And five, down, up, and we go, kick. Now, let's speed that up a bit. I'm gonna do a face in the camera. Just a little exercise. Sometimes you have to switch sides really quickly. <coughs> okay. So from here, we're going to go one side, kick, up we come. Other side, kick, up you come. Left and right, back and forth. But each time, don't rock on your back, get onto your elbow. As you come up, pull the knee in and kick it out. Snapping in and out. Ready? And we go. Start this side first. And one. Up we come. Two. Up we come. Three. Up you come. Four. Up you come. Five. Up you come. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. So, four little defense techniques today. The attempted high grab, we step back and split the hands. The attempted low grab, we jump back longer and split. The grab from behind, most important, is your leg around. It will block. And on the ground as you hit the deck, get onto your elbow and knee. Because when we move on to another edge, you're able to spin in a circle on this. You can move around the arc. Very easy. Kicking all the way. Okay, keep the attacker off. So practice them. Practice them, have a few games at home with that reaction. And uh, we shall see you back on for the next class. Well done guys. Domo, arigato, sayonara.